Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we're back with quick hits. Um, we're going to get into a good one today. Anyone but Usyk for Tyson Fury. Anyone at all. He doesn't care who it is as long as it's not Usyk. All right, let's get uh, – before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, please subscribe to 3D uh, – please follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery, so please like, share, and subscribe. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, so Tyson Fury – Gave uh, Anthony Joshua, who's lost two consecutive fights to Usyk. Um, and remember, Usyk is the uh, unified heavyweight champ, the one that uh, Tyson Fury is afraid of. Uh, he gave him up until today, 5 o'clock, or yesterday, I guess, if you're over in the UK, um, 5 o'clock um, to reach an agreement. Otherwise, he was going to look for another opponent. I'm not exactly sure what the holdup is. Um, it appears that Joshua agreed to the 40% split. Um, the fight's supposed to be uh, December 3rd in Wales. Apparently now it's not going to happen. I don't know what the holdup is, um, but it did not get done. So now Fury is moving on. Um, instead of waiting till February or March to fight Usyk, um, he's going to fight... <clears throat> Mahmoud Char, um, formerly known as Manuel Char, uh, Syrian heavyweight. You know, not, not the worst heavyweight in the world, but you know, not really top ten or really even a top twenty heavyweight. Um, he, he won a WBA regular belt back in 2017. He then took three and a half years off uh, and uh, beat Christopher Lovejoy and then fought Nikolo Milicic. Uh, in Germany, he won both those fights in, in relatively short order. Um, he also has a win over Sefer Safari, who we know because that's uh, somebody that Tyson Fury beat. So he fought in 2016, he beat Safari. Um, then he took 14 months off and he fought Ustinov, got a good win over Ustinov. Um, and then he took uh, three and a half years off and fought Lovejoy. Um, and then he took a year off and fought Milicic. This is an active guy. I'm certainly someone who you would think should be uh, should be fighting uh, Tyson Fury. I mean, this is an absolute joke. I, I don't know if this is real, if this is fake, uh, but this is what Tyson Fury has said. Um, obviously, no one has any interest in this fight. This is a joke of a fight. I, honestly, I don't know if, if a commission should even approve this. You know, you have the. Heavyweight champ of the world in Tyson Fury wanting to fight Manuel Char, um, who has fought in, in the last five years, has fought Christopher Lovejoy and Nikola Milicic. I don't know if the commission would be doing their job if they approved that fight. Real talk. That's how bad it is. Um, if this was five years ago, okay. But like I said, in the last five years, um, Milicic and Lovejoy are the two guys Manuel Char has fought. Mahmoud Char has fought. So, this is a joke now with Tyson Fury. I don't know if this fight's going to happen. Um, I don't know if he's going to go back and negotiate with Joshua again. Um, but Tyson Fury is a guy that likes to be in charge. He likes to be in control. He likes to call the shots. Um, he thinks he's something special now. Um, because he's beat Fury and Dylan, uh, because he's beat Wilder and, and White. Um, you're going to see Fury go on, uh, Usyk go on and fight Wilder, I would imagine. And you're going to see Fury flounder. Uh, we don't know what Fury's going to do. Fury doesn't know what Fury's going to do. As long as Fury says he's in control, thinks he's in control, you're, you're going to, you know, 
he's going to do what he wants and, and thinks that he has you know leverage over people and he's going to call the shots. Uh, when you do that, this is what you get. If you would like to sit down at a negotiating table and negotiate a fight with Usyk, which you don't want to do because you're scared of Usyk, that could be done. That could be arranged. Um, you know, you want to fight in December. He wants to fight in March. We're three months apart. It's too February. Like, how, wh- why is this more complicated? Just fight him in February. Right? I'm, I'm sure if you came to him and said February, Usyk would agree to that. If Usyk just fought in August, he fought Joshua. He's not going to turn around and fight three, four months later. It's not going to happen. It's not going to, you know. So, um, I, I think February is reasonable. You know, Joshua was, you know, wasn't an easy fight, it's a taxing fight, it's a big fight. So give him five months. Um, you know, like I said, there, there, there's no go to the negotiating table now and, and agree to a February fight with Usyk. It's not that serious. It's not. Um, but Fury doesn't want that. Uh, Fury wants to be in control. And there's one guy he can't dictate terms to in the heavyweight division. And that's Alexander Usyk. Usyk just fought for $75 million, allegedly, quote-unquote, apparently. That's more than Fury's ever made in a fight. So he can't say he's the draw. Although, you know, in the Usyk fight, he kind of is the bigger name. Um, Usyk demands a big purse, though. He's done it. He's done. He's he's guaranteed. He, he's got a guaranteed bigger purse than uh, Fury did. It's just fa- <laughs> it's just the fact of the matter. So you can't really dictate terms to a guy who is the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, which Usyk is. Has three of the four uh, recognized belts. Fury can't dictate terms to him, so Fury doesn't want that fight. He he wants to fight. Um, Derek, Derek Chisora again. He wants to fight Anthony Joshua. He wants to fight Mahmoud Char. He wants to fight guys where he feels like he's in control. So it's a control. It's a matter. It's, it's an issue of control. It's an issue of ego with Tyson Fury. And guys, I'm not hating ego. Or I, I'm not hating Fury, saying he has a massive ego. It's what it is, right? Go sit down at the negotiating table and, and come up with a fight with, with Usyk. It can be done, okay? But it's not going to happen uh, for, for a litany of reasons. But he can negotiate a fight with anybody else when he feels like he's in, in control. He wasn't in control in the first Wilder fight. He wanted that fight, so he made it happen. He doesn't want the Usyk fight. He's not in charge of an Usyk fight, right? He, he's not he, he, he's not the man in that fight, so he doesn't want it. And he can't beat Usyk. Really? Is he going to outbox Usyk? Come on, guys. Um, But this is where we is now, where we are now with, with Tyson Fury. Um, he, he He's given Joshua. And you guys over there in the U.K., tell me, who's a bigger draw in the U.K., Joshua or Fury? It's Joshua, right? Is it? Um, th- this is why the heavyweight division becomes a joke, right? You have two really good heavyweights. And guys, have always, I'm not a Fury hater. I was a Fury standboy up until this happened, right? Maybe, maybe I'm just objective, right? Maybe Fury's a really good heavyweight. He's a great heavyweight. Who's in the wrong era? Because he can't beat Usyk. And he's not going to fight Usyk. But Fury's a great heavyweight. You know, but why not try make make an Usyk fight? Because you want to protect your O. You know, um, there are th- 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 there's a number of reasons why he's not going to fight him. There's a number of fighters he could fight instead of Char. Right, Char had a WBA you know uh, regular belt for a while. There's absolutely no reason to fight Char. I, I can give you twenty heavyweights better than Char. But this is the fight he wants because it's, it's an easy. Uh, I don't know why he wants this fight. I'm not going to speculate on that. Uh, but do you guys think this is going to happen? I think this is an absolutely ridiculous fight. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't even know if the commission would approve it. It's that stupid of a fight. Um, it's just anyone but Usyk right now. Anyone but Usyk. You know, Usyk's going to fight Wilder, and Tyson Fury's going to fight Mahmoud Char. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Uh, please follow us on our other channel too, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 27th, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.